This tutorial is part of my course on Udemy. Check out the description for more info. Hey there, in this lecture we're gonna add breakable objects. Basically, these are gonna be objects like bushes, trees and rocks that you can break with your pickaxe. So these are all separate objects. Now we need a way to group all of these objects into one category for easy interaction. So we want them to be under the breakable category. So for that, we'll create an object called O breakable parent. Now that object will be the parent of all of these objects and these objects will be the children of O breakable parent. So whenever you use O breakable parent to find an instance, the instances of these objects are going to be included as well. So it's a simple way to group similar objects together. Now another feature of parenting is that the code you add in the parent will be run in the children as well. So let's work on it. Inside the sprites, I've added a group called world. Inside that group, I have s bush and s tree. Now I'll open the bush sprite. I'll bring down the origin to the center of its bottom part. If you look at it like a 3D model, it'll make sense. Now I'll open the tree sprite. Again, I'll adjust the origin. And now I'll open the collision mask menu. I'll change the mode to manual. Now here, I'll modify the mask to only the area where the player should be able to click on it. And now I'll close it. Now I'll go to objects and inside the world group, I'll create an object. I'll name it O breakable parent. Now I'll make the children object first O bush and then O tree. Now I'll assign their sprites to them. And now let's open O breakable parent. To set up the parenting, I'll open the parent menu. Now here we can assign children to this object. So I'll go to objects and select O bush and O tree. I'll drag them and drop them into the children list. So now O bush and O tree are children of O breakable parent. Now you can click here to assign a parent to this object. So I'll open the menu, go into world and select O collision as the parent. So now O breakable parent is a child of O collision. Then O bush and O tree are children of O breakable parent. So the bush and the tree are children of O collision as well. So for example, in the collision script, we are specifying O collision only. But since O bush and O tree are children of O collision, we can collide with them as well. So this is a great use of the parenting system. And now I'll open the game room. Here I'll place some bush and tree instances. Now you can see that the grid is too big for the bushes. So I can go here and reduce the cell size for the grid to 8x8. Eight eight. So now placing them should be easier. Now you can see that I'm dragging the objects from the resource tree into the room. But there is another, easier way to place instances. So after selecting an object in the resource tree, you can hold the ALT key to place instances. You can also place multiple instances at once. The room is ready for now, so I'll close it. Now in the breakable parent, I'll add the create event. In the event, I'll add this. This is the HP of the breakable object, so it's simply how many clicks it takes to destroy it. And here I'm simply storing the HP into another variable called HP max. So later we can use this variable to know the maximum HP of the instance. And now I'll add the step event. In the event, I'll add this. If the HP reaches zero, the instance will simply be destroyed. Now if you open the child object, like the bush, you'll see the same events there. You can open them here and read them, but you can't edit them. So you can only modify the parent events in the parent itself. Now I'll open the tree and the events are here as well. Now you can right click on an event to override the parent's event and write new code. You can also inherit the parent's event and add some code to it. But for now, we don't need any of these options. And now let's run the game. Now you can see the instances and also collide with them. Now we need to add a pickaxe. So we're going to add it in the next lecture. 
Thanks a lot for watching. If you're interested in the course, check out the description. Make sure you subscribe for more tutorials and I'll see you in the next one.